In this video, we'll take a look at visualizing sun path and shadows within the Ecoject environment. We're going to take a look at the functionality within the Ecoject, and for this specific tutorial, we'll take a look at how we can optimize overshadowing and check out shadow conditions for neighboring buildings. I have now opened the Ecoject environment, and there's really a lot of cool things that we can do looking at shadows and shadow patterns within inside Ecoject. So the first thing I'll do within inside Ecoject, I'll go to the 3D editor, where I'm just displaying a really a simple geometric model. I'll go to shadow settings and turn on my daily sun path and annual sun path. And you'll see that what has an impact on the shadows here is really the altitude at the, from the horizon and the azimut angle from north. So, and again, of course, the project context and the elevation above sea level. So what I'll do here is that you can either just pull around your sun like you can do in Vasari or Revit, or you can just double click here to scroll for that specific time a day or go to whatever kind of month you want to look at. And also I'm often using some different sun extremes to visualize shadow conditions on different times of year. Summer solstice, spring equinox, for example, the even conditions where the day and night are at the same length and again winter or autumn. Okay, so when I've done that I can just go to display shadows and you will see that inside the 3D editor you're only looking at shadows in a plan view which can be quite effective. So F5, looking at it in a plan view, checking out the different times of year or just right click here, say save a load da da panel data, go to summer solar that I said out earlier and then to quickly go to that extreme or time of year that you want to look at. So with inside here, I can actually go to the zone management, I can mark up the new envelopment, go to zone management and choose a specific shadow color for the new buildings. Say OK. So if I then go to, for example, spring or winter, you'll see that when the shadows from the context and existing buildings are overlapping, we can go to shadow settings and we can press reverse shadows to see the impact of new and existing shadows. And there's really a lot of different things we can do in here, but this is really the most effective. And then to go to the visualize tab where you can look at how the shadows are visualized on the surfaces of the model. So what you can do here is that you can do a lot of the same things. You can control the shadows in the same way and you can go to different sun extremes in the same way. Then you also have the ability to look at a butterfly diagram or shadow range, which with inside 9 to 15 o'clock or whatever kind of time interval I'm specifying with a specific increment are showing where we'll have most sh overshadowing during that specific month and day. And we can of course do an annual simulation of this or just take it out as a picture for different, different sun extremes during the year, or we can do an hourly animation like this. Another pretty cool thing is that you can go into your visualization settings and you can shade your surfaces, or you can apply shadow settings to have some kind of color displayed for visualizing your, your shadows a bit more effective. Thank you.